you know, people call it the Oscars or the Emmys for the restaurant business. And now one of those elite James Beard Award winners cooks up his food right here in Baltimore. How about that? The first time the James Beard Award has been brought back to Charm City. 11 News' Kate Amara joins us live from North Baltimore tonight with that story. Hi, Kate. Well, this was his third nomination, Stan and Donna, and this year, Spike Jurdy and his restaurant here, Woodbury Kitchen, finally won. There were 38,000 entries. This is a tough competition, but this year, for this guy, it was about much more than just the food. Uh, the wood fire is kind of central to everything we do in the kitchen. It's You're a, looking uh, at a champion of a chef. Uh, Spike Jurdy of Woodbury Kitchen is now a James Beard Award winner, Best Chef Mid-Atlantic. I wanted this for Woodbury, and I wanted it for Baltimore. For sure. And the award goes to Spike Gertie. It's Woodbury the gold Kitchen medal of the food world, the Academy Award of his industry. It means this guy, who's been cooking in Charm City for more than 20 years, is firing up an Oscar worthy menu every night. This is the best team in the whole city, if not the whole country. He opened Woodbury Kitchen in 2007, committed to local and direct sourcing to the point where they've stopped using citrus and started making their own mustard. And those little incremental steps now are, are what how we really measure our success. He got to this point by thinking really big picture and said as much on stage Monday night. Woodbury Kitchen is a restaurant that is uh, of, for, and in Baltimore, a city which uh, needs a little bit of good news right now. And this is going back to Baltimore. To a city still limping from a tough couple of weeks, the James Beard Award brings buzz. It means reservations, attention, draws diners from around the country. Big picture. I'm sure that it's going to have an impact not only on, on, on Woodbury Kitchen, but also on the city as a whole. I think I want, really wanted it to happen this year. All right, so we do have some tidbits for the foodies here. We asked Spike, what does he always keep in his fridge and in his pantry? He said Duke's mayonnaise, local milk and eggs, and snake oil, the hot sauce that they make here. As for his last supper, he said it would definitely be with family. There would have to be pizza on the menu and a really good red wine. Reporting live tonight from North Baltimore, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.